Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another IP video recap. Went to the Rough Riders game last night. We had a lot of fun and got some bonuses, which I will tell you about later. I caught one of my white wells, so I don't have a lot of autographs to show off, but that was because I was chasing my white well yesterday. So I will show you, starting off with... Um, Oh, we'll see here. My my customs. Now I'm probably gonna butcher his name because he hasn't been with the team long. Eliezer Alvarez. I'm gonna I think that's how you say it. Here on a custom because he just came up a few weeks ago and that's uh. That's all I have. No cards. Here's another uh, Josh McGun uh, Josh Morgan. And then we've got Adam Choplet. And then for the cards that I've got, we've got uh, manager Joe Muckaluck. On a Hickory Crawdad card, Brett Martin. And I don't know how I missed this one the last time, but when I was putting my cards away last time, I saw this one, Adam Parks, so uh, I was sure to grab that one and get it signed at this game. And I'm gonna, he's important for another story later to, for this video. And then my white well, Ariel Wajardo. He signed three of three for me. So I finally got it. This is one of the, I've only got a few cards left of this set. I actually bought two sets, but um, there's only a handful of cards left. I'll have the entire team set signed. Here's the Hickory Crawdads card that he signed, and then his Bowman first card. Now he only signed three, which I'm happy for any because it's hard to get his. Let's get a little out of focus. But uh got these three, so maybe next time I can get another one on the the cards that Web of Cards sent. And then we've got it was a Father's Day sock giveaway, so we got some nice little socks here. And then like I said before, it was Scout Night, so we got our Scout patch. And then the interesting story of the night are these cleats you're seeing here in the background. I'll see if I can get a little closer. We were waiting to get into the stadium and someone pulls up in a car. Don't know who this person is. Never seen him before. Nothing. He steps out and hands me these cleats and asks me if I want them. And he said they were from pitcher Adam Parks. And... That's Adam Parks. Now these in the picture are not the same cleats, but they are pretty close. These are the same brand. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. I actually need to pull out my other cards and see if uh, the cleats on those, just to see if they match up at all. But they are New Balance. Got some wear on them right here. And this is pretty interesting. Looks like he's got something glued or melted on his pivot foot here. I'm guessing that so protects his toes. I, I'm not sure. If you know why, you know, they do that, put it down in the comments. Let me know. But, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Should I take, a, take these to the next game and try to get them signed? Or should we just... I have no clue what to do with cleats because I don't really collect uh, game use stuff like that other than get a couple bats which I can show you later so let me know what you think and then as a little added bonus I got my program from last night signed by the guy on cover Michael DeLeon and because it's Father's Day again happy Father's Day to everyone out there I'm giving this one away so the first person 
who can comment down below and tell me what Daniel's favorite baseball player is because it's been in several videos. So if you can tell me what his favorite baseball player is, the first person to do that gets this. And then I'll leave my email down below. You can just email me your address and uh, I'll send this out to you. So first person to comment what Daniel's favorite player is wins. So like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think about the cleats. Let me know what uh, his player is and happy Father's Day to all. Thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing I forgot to tell you. Um, the ham that Daniel is, he um, got his way into the press boxes last night. Not only his way, the whole family. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I know the guy's name was John Clements. He worked for the Rough Riders. Um, basically, I guess for less of like her terms or whatever it, it fell in love with Daniel and um, took us up to the very top level of the stadium um, showed us the press box where they do all the onboard camera and video things for the jumbotrons and everything showed us the uh, the radio announcers for both teams um, there was the the main camera from at the very top of the stadium um, there was the uh, the room where the MLB and, and uh, MILB guys stay and the official score and where they instantly update everything right then and there. It was very nice. I appreciate it. You know, it's it was something that not many people get to see, and we got to go up and, and check that out and see see all that stuff. So. Um, it was it was a great time, great night all around, and um, I'm I'm glad we got to do it.